the really heartbreaking part of having a friend or a relative who has dementia from the earliest stages where they're still pretty well functioning and then they start to realize that this is happening to them. It's horrible for the person because they know what's happening until they don't. And then it's horrible for everyone else to watch it happen and even worse when they realize that the other person doesn't even know anymore. The whole impetus for this is that these changes in the brain are occurring 15 to 20 years before the diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease. Now this provides a window of opportunity for us to be able to intervene if we know who are those individuals who have that burden of pathology. The most important thing that we really want to do is to change the way people are thinking about cognition. We'd like cognitive status to be a vital sign. In addition to respiration, temperature, blood pressure, we have a long-standing joke that since we met, Dana's been working with real intelligence and I've been working with artificial intelligence. I was working on getting computers to understand sketches. And one day I brought home something I had just discovered, this digitizing ballpoint pen that manages to track its position on the page very accurately 75 times a second. And she said, let's put it to work on some of the neuropsychological tests that I give people where they're asked to draw something. We've modeled this off of the traditional clock test. So you are asked to draw a clock with all the features of the clock and a specified time. Then you're given a pre-printed clock and asked to copy that. In a healthy person, the free-drawn clock should look like the copy clock. In neurologic disorders, that's not the case. But we're able to make all of that much more precise and much more revealing. I found out about this project at MIT. I found it really interesting, just the idea of using artificial intelligence to look at people's strong behavior and seeing what interesting insights, features we can get. And based on these features, I want to create models that are able to detect or predict signs of impairment tied to Alzheimer's or, or Parkinson's. We send our data from the pen to the cloud and we analyze it there. So it's a pen that is now connected to the internet and part of the internet of things. If you can do a two-minute test that was uh, cost-effective, and it's also um, culturally fair across education and age and uh, language, you can identify the people who are really at risk early on when we could do something about the disease. My grandfather passed from Alzheimer's disease. My paternal grandmother had, had Alzheimer's. I have two family members who've had Alzheimer's and dementia. My father died of dementia. My mother-in-law had Alzheimer's disease. Her three sisters have Alzheimer's disease. And my husband is in the early stages of Alzheimer's disease. For me, when I get up every day, I think of my grandmother, Phoebe, and I hope that my grandchildren will live in a world where we can help very many with this disease. And we're close, by the way. We're close to finding a cure. So to be able to detect change early, to be able to let people know that they aren't crazy, that there is something happening, and, and maybe to be able to do something about it is really amazing.